Okay, so for this video we're going to be making a simple falling graphic. Um, so make elements look like they're falling. Um, I've seen this done before in After Effects, but you know, Inventus makes it a lot simpler. Um, let's get started. So, let's, we've got an empty scene, nothing in it, just a normal 3D layer. I'm going to add another 2D layer as a background colour. Background colour. And I'll change this to like a blue. We've seen this in games as well, like uh, Fall Guys and stuff, where the the, the graphics is, looks like it's falling. Oh, we don't want that. We want an axis. And we don't need this for now. So we want an axis and a rectangle. I'm going to scale this rectangle on the Y. There we go. Just to go from top to bottom. We're going to change the alignment to left. And we're going to change the scale just. I'm going to set this to maybe 6. Uh, set the X to 6. And I'll just round this up the Y to 25. Okay, now we'll duplicate this. And I'm going to change the line alignment on the X to the right. And leave the, the, the position, I mean the size the same as the other one. Now I'm going to select both rectangles. Okay, and we're going to get a mover for each. One and move it to. And what we're going to do is take the X position and drop it on onto the movers. And we want to change some of the values. So we know our max setting is six, and we want a minimum. So I would say maybe let's do five point four. So we don't want you can you can reduce that even more or increase it depending on how much you want. Uh, yeah, I'll do about 5.5 .5 and you can speed this up or slow it down. So this we're just creating an illusion that we're falling. So we're creating some elements that are moving. Um, right now they're moving together. So what we're going to do is just offset one. There we go. So you know, now it's, it's not perfect. And they're slightly offset. So we have one element created. And what we can do is get a color solid color and place it in front of both of these now we can color these together and just go for a slightly darker blue there we go so now we've got one bit of graphic moving let's get another make another graphic that helps create the illusion of falling so we've got an axis and we're going to get another rectangle and we're going to scale this on the y All right and on the X, we'll just make it slightly bigger for now so we can see it. I'm going to move it over here to the left. I'm going to apply a solid color. Color, solid. Okay. And on the texture, base with alpha. And on the loader, we're going to go choose a 1D gradient. And we're going to choose this fourth one, the white highlight. So it's one, two, three, four. This one. And you get this cool, cool little gradient. You don't even have to do anything to it. So you can leave it as it is and just scale, scale it down. There you go. So you can leave that as it is. Actually, no. Let's let's just tweak it a tiny bit, tiny bit. So we want to just bring this in to the left a little bit. So when we repeat the texture, we have some spacing between each one. There we go. So now you've got a bigger, bigger alpha here, like space here. So when you change this to wrap. And we change the UVs, 2D mapping to UV0. And we animate the Y position. Yeah. Oh, it help if I didn't scale the wrong one. So, Y position. Why is it not moving? Oh, okay, so rotate the 90. And now change the Y. There you go. Like well, the other way we could do it is instead of rotating, doing rotation, you just change it to vertical. You just check vertical here, and you can then animate the Y position. Either way. Okay, so once we've got that created, we just need to squeeze it down, make it nice and thin on the on the axis of the X. Go back to your position on the Y. Click the little wiggly line, and you choose linear one. Now that will loop. What you can do is you can pop out that mover. If you need to see it. Okay, and now we're gonna do is just duplicate this. Okay. 
we're going to duplicate this you can create three or four up to you and we're just going to offset them and position them on the screen we've created similar effects we're using do you remember the rocket ship if it's pretty, a pretty old video but you can change your speeds here um, you can also change your offset so if you want to offset these better to offset these offset this mover there we go now it looks like we're falling now add in the element the graphic that we want to make look like falling so whatever it is this will be our falling graphic so I'm going to call this falling on this axis and we're going to keyframe this as well so for now I'm going to just use the rounded rectangle and we can swap this out with other objects in a second so I'll scale this up nice and nice and big I think we'll give a solid color solid color yeah I'll just make it go yeah, kind of black there we go so right now we want it to look like it's falling simple just add a mover take the rotation Z and we're going to animate the rotation G so the Z axis you can you can you know add some that and then just reduce the duration so it moves quicker now it looks like it's falling now let's add an animation so keyframe so right now we're just using movers to animate all these elements but now we're going to keyframe the position of the Y okay so go to your timeline work in seconds Easier. So at zero, I'm going to set three key, three, three key frames. I'm just going to use the current position. So here, the middle keyframe is where we want it on the screen. The start, I want it to come from the top. So I'm going to position it up here. So for me, it is roughly 18. So I'll do 18. So it drops in, so it animates in, and then we want it to animate out in out and we'll go set some states we're going to do shift s so soft state so state one shift s again soft state or two and then what i'm going to do is just change this to um what's it frame like i think this is frame so i'm not sure just the 1.0 or whatever move this in by one frame this last keyframe and here i'm going to set the state to s1 you'll see in a second why so now all I have to do is trigger next, next to next, next to next. So now I can hold that as long as I want, and it's fall. It looks like it's falling, then it's gone off screen. Yeah, there. So we've got this fall, fall free fall effect, you know. Um, so we've got this cool effect. It's nice, right? Now we can do swap out. You can add different elements in here. So if I block this this rounded rectangle. Uh, and say so we'll just get some text, 2D text, and call block text. And you can see I still got the mover here, which gives us that nice wiggle in the position. All I'm doing is change some of the properties on the text. So I'm gonna change that to center and center. So center align now. Now it looks like my text is falling. I have to make it a bit more interesting. Let's make a bit better font falling and edit. You can browse for a better font. And let's see what we got. Okay, I'm gonna use the plum full, and we're gonna use I just add some text effects. So we've got some text effects. So I'm gonna hit spacebar, text effects, and I'll right click. So we've got rotate we've got skill we've got spark we've got circle so we can try a few of these maybe we try maybe we try the spark see what that looks like so if we change the spark we can see what it's doing um right now it's saying new to thing or if it's at random you can animate that but we don't want it on the z so we can say none on the z and then you know we can change reduce that distance and can increase that value uncheck alpha no. so maybe not spark let's try rotation okay so let's go text effects 
I'm gonna do rotate effect and see what that does. Then I'm gonna choose random because I want random rotation and I'm gonna say center and we're gonna just change that. Okay, so now that's looking cool. Maybe we don't want it to animate on the X and on, we only want it on the Z. And we want to reduce that 360. So we just want some wiggle, but not too much. There you go. Cool. And I'm going to random seed this. Increase that range. There we go. I'll decrease the range to zero. That seems alright. Let's see if we can get some a little bit more. We could animate this and I don't know. The start and end. I'll just play around with the values until I get something I like. Morning. Okay, so let's animate the progress with a mover and the mover to this in progress. So by just tweaking the, the start and end of that rotation, hopefully should get some wiggle. 100. Not looking smooth. Let's speed this up. We'll slow it down. There we go. Maybe we want a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna change the range rather than zero. Yeah, that looks alright. And you can just tweak this speed. There we go. So now we go back to our animation. Now we have the next to next. So next. Spalling. I have spot room. There we go. And you can change what you can put in whatever you want. Hello. Next, next. Simple to video, not not nothing complicated. Just make a simple graphic. Of course, if you want to make this more three D, of course you can do that. Just put an axis on the whole group. Let's just tilt this for now. And <coughs> sorry, let's just um, push push out the Z space a bit more so. You can do add an axis on this this back plate here that we created and just go to Y. Then again you can change the Z on these um, streaks. So if you wanna maybe push some back in the distance and then push some forward like this. There you go. Now you can rotate the Y and you got some you know depth to this. Um, if you want it as well, and then you could also billboard this. Perhaps you want to billboard this, so you add a billboard. There you go. So then, if you rotate, you, the center will billboard. You know, you could do the same probably on this this text. So you can add billboard in here. That's always facing the camera, so it doesn't clip through. But there you go. It's up to you. Have a play. See what works. What doesn't. Experiment. I said, yeah, I'll remove that billboard for now, but there you go. And if you want, you can add more streaks, just add the spreader. I'm just going to add some. Say no, and then just drop these streaks into the spreader. And then drop some more in there. Scale them up. Offset them. Rotate them. You know, whatever I need. Um, scale them in the Y. Some more width. There you go. And play around with the alpha. There you go. Yeah, try it. Try it out. See how. See how it goes. You know. And then you still have control over this, so you can link this to the bottom. Damn. Hello. We'll fall in. And if you wanted to go to a different, a different direction, you just change the, the, the um, positions of where it goes so we could go so if you want to look at like it's going upwards you can just go one to zero um 
now hopefully you go the other way um, and then you just reverse your keyframes but yeah hopefully you get the idea or you could just rotate it or you can put it on its side make it look like it's going sideways um, yeah there you go and then you go next you get the idea but you'd have to adjust the keyframe so for example if I rotate this and Take that off the screen here, and this up here, and then I'll rotate this. Uh, actually, take the billboard off because the billboard's stopping it, and then I have to adjust the height on this. It's not a problem, we we'll just extend it a little bit. There you go. And we've got it going sideways. Man, hello. Of course, you can, you can change the positions and the X, you know, all sorts. And if you want to rotate this, you can rotate this. Another axis, let's rotate that around. There we go. Minus 90. And you can see my position, just make sure it's off screen. I'll just have to make the adjustments for the new, new positions. There we go. So you can, you know, make graphics. Motion graphics pretty easily you know and go next out traveling at the speed of light there you go hopefully that was useful enjoy the rest of your day bye bye